Hi dear friends, welcome to my channel Chem Tam with Manasa. Friends, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get more videos related to chemistry. Friends, so it is a very beneficial video for class 12 or second PUC students of Karnataka because so in this video I am giving the information about the chapter wise marks distribution list of NCRT syllabus in Karnataka. Of course friends, so each and every sentence of your book is very very important to get knowledge or with respect to CET examination etc. But while you are preparing for the annual examination, you should know the marks distribution list properly. Because while you are studying a chapter, if you know which type of uh, question will be asked from that chapter or what is the weightage or importance of that chapter with respect to your examination, then you can get pro you can study properly and you can get good marks. That's why I am making this video with the chapter wise marks distribution list of your syllabus. Friends, first let us consider physical chemistry. In your syllabus, there are five chapters in physical chemistry. The solid state, solution, electrochemistry, chemical kinetics and the surface chemistry. And the marks distribution list is here. Uh, your question paper has part A, 1 mark, part B, 2 marks, part C, 3 marks and part D, 5 marks. Totally 4 parts in your uh, question paper. If you have any doubts in pattern of your question paper, please watch my previous video in which I have explained the pattern of your question paper. So, let's go to this uh, distribution list. First chapter, the solid state. From solid state, you can expect a 2 mark question for in part B and a 5 mark question in part D. Generally, the five mark in uh, that 5 mark question, there will be a division in 3 plus 2 or 4 plus 1 like that. Uh, generally, there will be a question on the uh, calculation of packing efficiency or a numerical on density formula. Sometimes uh, there will be questions on uh, the calculation of number of particles of unit cell also. 27th question in your question paper will be from solid state chapter 2 plus 5 totally 7 marks question will be asked from this chapter. Then solution. From solution there will be 2 1 marks question and 1 5 mark question. 28th question in your question paper is from solution chapter. Here also you can expect uh, 3 marks numericals. Then electrochemistry. From electrochemistry 1 1 mark question 1 2 mark question and 1 5 mark question will be asked. 29th question is from electrochemistry. From electrochemistry also you can expect a numerical problem. Uh, 2 plus uh, 1 plus 2 plus uh, 5 that is 8 marks will be from electrochemistry. Chemical kinetics. Chemical From chemical kinetics 1 1 mark question, 1 2 mark question and 1 5 mark question will be asked. 13th question in your question paper. Here either a 3 mark numerical will be asked or the derivation uh, part, uh, a question on the derivation part. Either derivation of uh, integrated rate expression of uh, zero order or first order uh, reaction or on the half life period. So totally 8 mark question will be asked from chemical kinetics. Then surface chemistry. 1 mark, 1 1 mark question and 1 5 mark question will be asked from surface chemistry and totally 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. So, 6 marks will be from surface chemistry chapter. There will be difference of plus or one uh, plus or minus 1 marks from uh, this uh, list uh, per chapter. But totally 36 marks will be from physical chemistry. You are attending the examination for 70 marks but including the all the extra question the question paper will be of 1 or 5 marks. Out of 1 or 5 marks, 36 marks will be from physical chemistry or from these 5 chapters. Uh, friends, I uh, hope this video is uh, helpful for you. Please like this video, share this video with your friends. Very soon I will upload the uh, video of uh, marks distribution list of inorganic and organic chemistry also. Please subscribe to my channel to get more videos related to chemistry. Thank you.